what has been different at Compos under the Trump administration, who I love, and the Biden administration, which I don't love. What's been different from your perspective between the Trump and Biden administration as a business owner? Well, first of all, we have that in common. Uh, I love the Trump administration as well. Um, and uh, one thing, you know, uh, I tell a lot of people um, kind of under my breath, COVID was the best thing that ever happened to our business. You know, there's a lot of businesses that suffered, restaurants, tourism, everything else. The power sports industry exploded. Everywhere across the country. And it's because people were at home, stuck at home, whether they wanted to be or not. Um, and they were stuck home with the kids. Well, what do they need? They need to get outside. What do they need to get outside? They need a toy, a four wheeler, a snow machine. And it just exploded. People realized how important family time was, how important it was to spend family time. And and nobody was flying Alaska Airlines. Nobody was flying. So all that revenue came in, funneled into the power sports business. And for three years, it was just insane. It was exceptional, even during the worst of it under Trump, you know, when things were the worst. Uh, it did carry over in the Biden administration, but I'm not giving him any credit because we have seen now with interest rates and inflation sure. and people having to choose, you know, it's I think it's twelve hundred and sixty one dollars for a family of four. It has gone up. Cost of living has gone up for a family of four. Uh, just since the day Biden took office. So we are seeing a slowdown in our big ticket items, the boats, the things where interest rates are more sensitive. Um, so we're having to market harder and more creatively. And that's kind of what you asked me to talk about was um, how do we keep that momentum going even that COVID's over, right? Yeah. So you have a little bit of a marketing genius that you've tapped into. I just want to say for everybody listening that I'm really grateful that Compos is one of our sponsors so you can see some of their marketing genius in our ads at our break. But what I love about you is how you handle political issues with humor and then you tie that into promoting your brand and your products at Compos. So you've recently released an ad making fun of government approved gas can nozzles that empty in over six minutes. And instead you have an exclusive gas can fast pour nozzle called the no bama the no bama nozzle it empties in only 35 seconds so we're going to take a second to roll that ad if anyone ever told you the government was here to help look what they did with the five gallon nozzle and these are our fast pour no bama nozzles they empty in 35 seconds versus over six minutes for those government approved nozzles that look like some sort of, I don't know, alien contraceptive device. Yeah, and for all you flaming liberal greenies, relax. It's just a red hat. An Obama nozzle, exclusively at Compos. All right, now, now that we've seen this no Obama, no Obama nozzle ad, Craig, tell us what inspired you to market in this way? Well, just frustration. Uh, for example, um, the, I've always said, if you know, like it says in the ad, if, if if your government tells you they're here to help, look what they did to the five-gallon jug. They totally screwed it up. Uh, it's all it's all about somebody somewhere did something stupid. So the government said, no, we got to protect everybody, and that's the overreach and the type of regulation and job-creating bureaucracy. Um, that 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 one device can cause and and everybody knows it. it's kind of the shining example of government is the five gallon jug in my opinion you can't you know you can't pour it so i said let's make some fun let's point a little fun at it let's let's at the same time market something we're selling and it was our number one selling uh, item on our table at the fair the, at the uh, outdoor show this year people love them and, and all, all they do is they look at it you can just see in their face Oh, yeah, I need one of those. That's great, you know. And it's just an easy fix for an over-complex problem. There's still nine states it's illegal to sell those in. Not Alaska, fortunately, but that's how that's how screwed up uh, the government is. <laughs> is it illegal because they're called Nobama? No, that's our name. We, we've just rebranded them as Nobama nozzles. We have a sticker that says no. I've got people that buy them just to hang them in the man cave because they like to show off the Nobama nozzle. <laughs> It's just illegal because of overregulation of government. Yeah, in certain areas, wow. you you have to use this government-approved uh, device that you know people wind up kicking those cans and throwing them and breaking them because it's just frustrating. You can't, first, you can't figure it out, 
and then you can't get fuel to pour out of it. And if you can, your clothes go out of style while, while you're waiting to fill your lawnmower, you know, which is now <laughs> illegal. <laughs> right. right. You know, yeah, so. Mr. Campo, I'm kind of a budding business in myself. I want to go to school and study business and I want to go into entrepreneurship. And I've talked with a lot of business people and universally a piece of advice that they almost always give me is don't mix politics with business. Mm -hmm. But you have kind of thrown that to the wind and just totally mixed yeah. politics with your business. What's your, what are your thoughts on that? And have you ever gotten backlash for your political views? Um, I, we have way more support than we do backlash. When we run a controversial ad, um, the people that complain are people that have never, we check their names. They've never ever done business with us. That they're, they're, they like to complain. Our, our market is pretty much conservative, outdoor, leave me alone, independent folks. Those people love our, our commercials, love our products. Uh, they understand. And, and when you say backlash, most of the backlash we get, like when we ran the Don Young commercial, uh, I call it the Don Young, but the, um, the old timers commercial around the campfire, the hot dog commercial, um, the, the backlash we got again was maybe one out of a hundred negative. We had a hundred people saying, when are you going to air that again? I want to see that again. You know? So, so I don't care about the one out of a hundred. They're not going to, uh, make or break my business. But we got a lot of uh, kudos and congratulations and hey, that was the funniest thing I ever saw. And I think in this environment, in this in this political environment, we don't laugh enough. Everything is so serious. Everybody's walking on eggshells. They're afraid to say how they really feel. And we just thought, you know, let's throw caution to the wind and it's working.